Wild Child is still out sailing outside of Marsh Harbor for Elena's first sail. So if, you may have to push the boom. Just stand up and push the boom. There's not enough wind force. So as Alina pushes the boom out to the side, and it's too much. Okay, look at the sail. Look at the luff edge of the sail. Does it look like a nice shape like an airplane wing? No, it's flapping around back and forth. So the luff is flopping back and forth, so that means the main sail is luffing. Luffing means you've gone, the boom is open too far. So now you adjust it by bringing it in towards the center. So now pull it with the main sheet, you pull the boom in until you get a nice curve in that sail, like an airplane wing. <laughs> right there, lock it up. One more, and lock. There you go. So now our main sail is not super happy, but it's pretty happy. We are on what tack? If the wind is coming from the right side of the boat, we never say right side, we are on which tack? Starboard. starboard tack, because the wind touches the boat on the starboard side first, and our sails are on the port. Now the wind is not at the side, but it's forward of the side. What point of sail is forward of the beam? Like it's about 60 degrees. Close reach. If we were really close to the wind, what would that be? Okay, if the wind is coming from the side of the boat, hitting the side, what point of sail is that? Uh, that would be uh, beam, reach. beam reach. If the wind is coming from behind the middle of the boat, from, from like the back quarters. What, what, broad reach. Broad reach. And if the wind is coming from directly behind the boat, this is a dead run, and if the wind is directly on the nose, where are we? It's, uh, we are in irons, and we're either in trouble, or we're raising or lowering the sail. Or we're tacking, I guess. Ta-da! You are now a sailor chick. So, I want to fix something on, we're now going to start adjusting, we're going to do sail trim and adjustments. So, hey Alina, can you please go on deck? and tighten the first reef Cunningham. Tighten. Tighten. So we on Wild Child have it in a series of spin lock clutches up there on the deck. You can see one of the clutches is open. So I want you to lock that clutch. Yeah, yeah pull, it, pull, it, pull it, tighten, pull it down and lock it. Now pull the blue rope as tight as you can. So this is pulling down on the tack of the first reef. Okay. Real sailors out there are welcome to yell at me because we were sailing without life jackets, which is not something that I believe in on Wild Child. We generally always wear life jackets. Yes, conditions were calm, waters are warm, we're very light, we're going slow, but you should still always wear your life jackets. So I wasn't planning on sailing originally and I didn't think we'd have any wins, so I didn't put them on. But bad captain, bad Lexi, bad Alina. So we are being good sailors and we are wearing our life jackets. So don't write, don't yell at me, no nasty comments. We're being safe. Now we're gonna practice different points of sail. So we've learned how to adjust the mainsail and what it does to the boat. The wind angle is at 56 degrees. So what happens if we go, so I want you to go to standby. You're steering, stand by, you better have your hands on the helm. Okay, so now I want you to fall off the wind about 30 degrees and bring the wind behind the beam. So steer left. We're now gonna go from sailing upwind to sailing downwind. 
Okay, wait right there. Hold still. The boat's still turning. You don't have to keep turning. Start straightening it out. So as, as the boat comes around, our wind is coming from... So we were sailing into the wind, and now we got the wind a little more. Let's go a little more. A little more. Right there. So center, center your helm. So now we're sailing with the wind at 134 degrees back here. What tack are we on? Uh, that's the that's Still starboard the tack, tack because the wind is coming over the starboard side of the boat. Our sails are on the port side. And what is the point of sail when the wind is there on your boat? That's the broad reach. So now we are broad reaching. So feel how the boat is reacting differently in the same winds and the same conditions. Running is always smoother and easier than sailing upwind. Running with the wind and with the waves is so gentle. Look, look how easy this is. This is super easy. I just want to see where we are. Yeah, I just I don't want to run out of room here. We're just playing in the pond right now. Um, so now we've moved Wild Child from sailing with a wing to sailing with a parachute. So now the shape of the mainsail is not so important. We just changed our point of sail by at least 90 degrees and we didn't even move the boom. And the boat's fine. Because with a parachute, you do not have to shape the curve of the sail. With a parachute, you just catch wind like a bag. And it's not so sensitive. So our mainsail now, you can see our flag, our Bahamas flag, shows you that the wind is cutting perpendicular into the sail, which the sail is just acting like a parachute, and the sail is pulling us downwind. So now we're on a run. Oh, now you're on a beam reach, actually. So I think you should probably go back to a broad reach, please. So now, tell Otto to take over and keep this course. Yes, now we let go. Otto is going to keep us on this beam reach. So as we are babysitting the helm, we are making sure, do we have enough depth? What is our wind angle? Has the wind moved? What is our wind speed? We're watching the outside elements. And we can do this for days or weeks or months, as long as the wind doesn't change and we're happy. We can sit back, read a book, relax, but we keep an eye on this information constantly. And we are always scanning the horizon. So when we are on the helm, we are watching our instruments and then we stand up and we look around and we scan the horizon for boats because we really don't want to run into anybody. And then we chill out and we sit back down and we keep an eye on the instruments and we watch the chart plotter and we watch where we're going, and we watch our depth, and we watch our wind, and this is babysitting the helm. So sailing is not usually very hard, but understanding what's going on, this is where it takes some skill. I'm gonna practice a controlled jibe right now. I'm looking at where we are in the Sea of Abaco, and I'm gonna run out of water soon. So we're gonna change our tack, and we're gonna go back towards there. To do that, I have to change the wind angle, and we're gonna control a jibe. So on right now we have light winds. I don't need the running backstays for support. So at the helm, I'm gonna release my starboard side running backstay. So it doesn't interfere with the boom. I'm gonna lay it down so it's loose. My port side running backstay is laid down. So I put a Lena on the main sheet with one wrap around the drum. And we're going to begin bringing the boom to center. So prepare to bring the boom to center, go. So I turned off the autopilot, I'm steering by hand. My wind angle is here. I start steering the wind now, I start steering downwind to bring the wind angle. Okay, so just, you're, you're cool there, it's all good. So you're ready to tack? Ready, Captain. <laughs> Say Captain again. Say ready, Captain. Ready, Captain. See, I love that. <laughs> 
So now we got the wind dead behind, and I'm gonna bring the steering wheel over, and we're gonna cross the wind behind the boat. And as soon as you feel that boom flop to the other side, you let that sheet go. Crossing the wind, jive, jive, jive. There, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Bam, nice, that's a gentle and a controlled jive. So I'm gonna, so I don't know, I'm gonna set the wind angle, I don't wanna go too tight to shore. Hold on, I gotta set, the, I gotta set a decent sailing angle. Cause right now we're gonna learn how to deploy the Jenny. So we're good. Control jive, good job team, yay! All right, so I know that this is a lot of information, a lot of work, but we have to do one more thing. We have a front sail on the boat. The front sail on the boat is called the Jenny. The Jenny. So let's learn how to deploy the Jenny, and then we'll roll it up and we'll go swimming. Yay, Yay. swimming! I'm gonna make you suffer for 20 or 30 <laughs> more minutes, and then we will go suffer. We will go swimming, and we will snorkel, and we'll have a lovely time. Okay, about 70% of our Jenny, and we've got it furled and held on the furling drum. Like we've grabbed the furling line because we really don't want to go too fast or we'll run out of water. So with 70% of the Jenny de de deployed and the main on the first reef, we are 5.4 over 2.8. But our remember people, our boat speed paddle wheel is not working so that is not an accurate wind count. And we're almost at parity with the wind and we have some room to go. We are now sailing with both sails. We are going to... What are we going to do? What do you want to do? I want to go swimming. swimming. Yes, we want to go swimming, but we have to do sailing. So, we are going to do a dead run wing on wing. Okay. And this is a little bit harder. So wing on wing means the main sails on one side and the jenny sails on the other. And the wind is exactly behind the boat a little bit dangerous because if the wind moves behind the boom it's going to cross and we got to be careful not to do that. So to run wing on wing we have right now we're on port side tack broad reach we have the boom and the and the jenny both on the starboard side we're going to bring the jenny to the port side so I'm at the helm and I'm going to bring the wind directly behind us and using the ropes you're going to let one side go and pull the other side to Pull it onto the port side. Okie dokie. So you're going to release, so we're going to go wing on wing. I'm going to bring the helm 10 degrees to port and start bringing the wind dead behind us. You're going to release, start releasing that one wrap on the drum. Okay, now holding that, don't let it go. You know what, I'm going to help you. We're going to do this like a team. I'm going to hold this. You go to the other side, go to the port side Jenny sheet. Okay, and I want you to pull it across to the port side. So hold on, I'm going to go 20 degrees. Okay. So the wind is pretty much dead behind us. I want you to pull the front sail to the port side. Go. Go. Okay, three wraps around the drum lock, four wraps around the drum, lock it up. Okay, throw a winch handle in and make it tight. So throw a winch handle in and tighten that. I would say that my first time yep. ever sailing, I thought it throw went very well. But I did start to get overwhelmed by all the new things I was learning. My cup started to get full. Okay, good, I'm happy with that, great. Oh man, it looks like there's like a storm forming directly kind of from this, out of this water is creating a storm cloud. We might have rain soon. So now we're sailing into the wind, we're 30 degrees into the wind. We are port side tack, the sails are tight. Skipper Alina's at the helm and she's got it heeled over. Say hi, mom and dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> no. So, Wild Child is now at anchor off Mermaid Reef here outside of the Marsh Harbor. So, the Marsh Harbor anchorage is on the inside. There's a bunch of catamarans already here. 
and a maybe like a fishing boat or something swimming on the reef and the reef is over there and we're gonna go snorkeling soon you can see the nasty weather's kind of cleared like it's the Bahamas I mean it rained a little bit a front moved through it wasn't that big and now the skies are kind of